Now to an unholy row brewing on the Isle of Lewis. A move by the supermarket giant Tesco to look at opening its branch in Stornoway seven days a week is facing opposition from some locals, including religious leaders, who believe that Sunday should be a day of rest. Tesco bosses, who are consulting staff and customers, say they are confident that they can carefully balance the demand for a Sunday opening while remaining respectful to local traditions. But that assurance doesn't wash with the Reverend Kenneth Stewart from the town's Reformed Presbyterian Church. Reverend Stewart, the, the, the arguments for and against Sabbath opening in, in Lewis um, are, are already well established, but there's been an erosion of that over the last 20 years. Do you not feel you're fighting a losing battle? Well, I think to put it that way implies that um, the alternative view is the progressive view. Uh, but that's what I would question, because um, I think at some point down the road, people will realise that 24-7 is not really progress. And that's why so many people who do go down that road eventually want to, to pull back from it. It's not always easy to pull back from it, but they do want to. And what I often point out to people is that just because on this issue, uh, the islands are a little out of step with the UK, we're not out of step uh, with mainland Europe, for example. In many countries there, if, if people go on holiday, they will discover that the place pretty much shuts down on Sundays and you will have big stores with a sign on the door saying closed on Sunday. So it depends how you see progress. Uh, I, don't, I don't think 24-7 is ever progress, really. And it's fair to say this isn't purely a church issue. There, there are people who live in Lewis who may not regard themselves as, as religious who don't want to see the Sunday culture change. Yes, a significant number of them. And people would be surprised at the number of people who, who share our view. In fact, one of the reasons people are attracted to go there to live in the first place is because of the different pace of life and the fact that there's a, a sabbatic rest, a, a total sabbatic rest, which is as near communal as you can get. And uh, I sometimes say to people that to effectively rest in a community, a community itself needs to rest. Uh, individual rest and communal rest are two different things. But nobody's being forced to go to this store. If it opens, nobody's being forced to go. And there, there are already, uh, certainly one store is open on, on a Sunday. There are restaurants open on a Sunday. People can go if they want, but they don't have to. Well, the number of stores and restaurants is, is small. But, but I think that issue, again, is confusing the issue of individual freedom with communal health. I think everybody should acknowledge that you can't push the individual freedom agenda too far because you affect communities. And the, and the problem is when um, stores such as Tesco and, and other stores like that open, you're not just opening a store, you, you're effectively changing a, a society. I mean, the town of Stornoway itself is, I mean, I don't know, about 6,000, 7,000. Uh, the two superstores, well, the two stores are large, uh, they're both profitable. To open them both means that you're completely changing the way of life, much more so than ferries and planes. I mean, uh, people were obviously not in favour of ferries or planes, but they did not have the impact on the community that Tesco would by opening. Why do you think that's different? People, extra people coming into the island on Sunday, would, the implication might be that that will have a bigger impact on, on the community than the opening of a store that people can choose not to go to. Well, let's say, for example, that a significant number of these ferry travellers are tourists. They've done their homework, as you or I would if we were going to Europe. They know uh, the supermarket is closed on the Sunday and they factor that in. Uh, just because people do travel into the island on Sunday doesn't mean that they expect to do everything they're going to do on the Sunday. And I think that's the reason why the, um, the travel hasn't impacted the island perhaps as much as people would fear. Tesco opening is completely different. But fundamentally, this will come down to economics. And if it doesn't work, then Tesco, if they go ahead with it and it's not working, it's not making them money, they'll revert back. I think that, that implies in a way that they are doing it for money. They, they have said themselves that their only concern is to improve customer experience because the store is so full on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, we, we love Tesco in Stornoway and uh, it's nice and cheap for people, but we would recommend that they widen the aisles, enlarge the store and enlarge the car park to improve customer experience. Uh, Tesco is profitable. The co-op, which is the other supermarket, 
is profitable. Both stores will tell you they do very well, so it's not economic need or necessity. And as far as, far as giving choice and so on is concerned, I, w I would just ask them one thing, really. Is it necessary to hurt a lot of people in order to convenience a few? And they will leave it. Uh, Reverend Stewart, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Tonight. Thank you. Thank you.